what's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Randy Orton. Supposedly could be sidelined longer than expected. We'll be checking out our article from WrestlingInc.com. This is some more unfortunate news right now for WWE, man. WWE got a lot going on, and we're gonna check this particular news article out. Uh, let's get right into this bad boy. Randy Orton may be out with injury longer than expected. Fightful Select is reporting that Randy Orton has been dealing with a back injury for a while now. The exact nature of his injury is unknown, but it is something that Orton had to get worked on before doing the tag title unification match with Riddle and the Usos. Whatever the injury is, it has progressively gotten worse for Orton and their sources fear he may have to undergo surgery. If that happens, the feeling is that Orton will be out for the remainder of 2022. Orton was originally planned for a major role this summer, including reports of him headlining SummerSlam with Roman Reigns. But now Fightful is saying that he is currently not factored into any creative plans Orton has been out of action since the title unification match that took place back on the May 20th episode of SmackDown. A week after that went down, WWE released a statement updating his status, uh, updating the status of Orton, stating that he has undergoing is that he has undergoing consultation with neurosurgeons and orthopedic spine surgeons to determine the extent of his injury but some of that information could be storyline based after the usos ended up the victors in the battle riddle has been involved in a feud with roman reigns which was originally planned for orton according to fightful the two will have a match this friday on smackdown per the stipulation if riddle loses he will not be able to challenge for the uh un unified wwe universal championship as long as rain reigns holds the title orton's allegiance with riddle became a fan favorite storyline for wwe for the better part of last year as the two stars became unlikely allies as rk bro orton once again became one of the company's biggest baby faces during their run as Raw Tag Team Champions. This is not good. I can tell you this now. This is not good at all. I don't know what they're going to do for what they're going to do. I know they're supposed to be having a match with Matt. Uh, Matt Real is having a match with Roman Reigns on SmackDown. Um, most likely, I will be streaming that, so be on the lookout for that. I'm going to stream uh, SmackDown uh, today. I'm filming this early in the morning, uh, Friday morning, so I will probably be streaming that uh, today. But um, I don't know. I don't. Outside of them having that match again, maybe they set up. Well, I don't know. It's, by his per stipulations, he probably won't have a rematch. Most likely, Matt Riddle will lose. I don't know what they do. You got Cody's out. For the rest of the year, pretty much. Randy Orton may be out for the rest of the year, pretty much. Two top baby faces. I know you have Edge, but Edge is doing potentially a storyline with, with the group that he created. Potentially when he comes back. So I, I don't I, I don't know. I don't know what you do. I don't know what do you do. Um, you could have Bobby Lashley take his spot, but I know there uh, there are reports saying they don't even have plans for Bobby Lashley to challenge Roman Reigns. Well, he may have to now. He, he, he may have to challenge Roman Reigns at some point during the summer. Because I know they're doing the Drew for uh Drew for the uh the overseas event, but what are they gonna do for SummerSlam? You may have to do Bobby Lashley. I'm just being honest with you. You may have to do Bobby Lashley. How many of y'all would be okay with seeing Bobby Lashley go for the uh, for Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship, Unified uh, Championships? I mean, I think that could be a good SummerSlam match if you built it correctly, potentially. But that's about it. Maybe that's 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 the only thing I can think of. Who else do they have legitimately outside of Drew? But they already having a program with you, Drew. Who else do they have now? They are literally depleted on baby faces. We're talking about true baby faces that make sense. I know Xavier said something, and maybe, 
maybe they can start building towards Xavier trying to be the one. I know he he's teased something about it. I know he's called out Roman, but that's not enough time to build up for SummerSlam. I mean, you could do it. You could possibly do it, but I just don't see that happening. So I don't know what they do. And once again, this is all WWE's fault. Because they haven't created new stars. Not really. I know Walters won the Intercontinental Championship, and that's cool. But let's he's a heel. And he's still not ready to face Roman yet. He's a heel. Who who do they have that is a top baby face that makes sense to face Roman Reigns outside of Drew? But we know Drew's gonna happen, just not right now. So for SummerSlam, who do they have? This is bad. This is really, really, really bad. This is bad. And this is all WWE's fault. Because if you were to push some of the people you had, or maybe kept some of the people that you let go, you wouldn't, you'd be able to find somebody. Back in the attitude there, if somebody went down, guess what? Somebody was there to take the spot. And a lot of times, wrestlers would fight through the pain. There's been plenty of interviews where people say they would fight through the pain to make sure they stayed on the show, to make sure they didn't get injured because no one wanted to get injured. You didn't want to get injured back then because you didn't know if you was going to get your spot back. Usually you didn't get your spot back. The only people that probably were like certified to get their spot back was usually like The Rock, Stone Cold. They were, they were surefire ways to get their spot back. At the potentially top of the card. Those are like the two people I know. You can throw the Undertaker in there. You can probably throw Triple H in there if you want to. There was a few people in rotation. If one person went out, they were going to get the top spot. There were few people in rotation. Here, WWE, who they have. And I'm talking about faces. Who they have. Other than Drew. Other than Bobby Lashley, who is another top face they had? They had Randy Orton, gone. They had <laughs> Cody Rose, gone. Who else? And we're talking about over. We're not talking about they got a nice little funny gimmick right now. We're talking about actually over. Someone that you think could be the top guy. It's not too many. It's not. And that's the problem. When you don't have enough stars to put in rotation in case somebody gets injured, you're screwed. You are screwed. WWE is screwed for the summer. And they they kind of booked themselves in this corner because guess what? Roman has both the titles. Nobody's taking those titles off him. At first, I thought somebody was taking the titles off him this year. And it was looking like a few people could have did it. Obviously, you you had Cody was probably the biggest person that could possibly do it. Maybe, potentially. And then you could have maybe did something else with it. If you wanted to give it to Drew. But I don't even think they're giving it to Drew now. I don't. I don't. I think we are in the situation now. Roman will probably hold those titles for the remainder of the year. No one else is taking those titles off him. Nobody. Not until next year. Not until next year. He's going to hold those titles all the way through. So, I don't know. I don't know what to what to say on this situation other than this is, once again, it's WWE's fault. It's not WWE's fault on the Randy Orton injury. It's WWE's fault for, once again, not pushing people when they have the opportunity to push them, create new stars, stars that we can believe in, stars that can take over once someone goes down. They don't have that no more. They they don't. So not not on the baby face baby face side of things, they don't have it. So I don't I don't even know what to say is other than comment down below, let me know who do y'all think <laughs> is a viable option to face Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. Where it makes sense. And you can believe that they will win. And they gotta be a babyface. Who who is it? Let me know. Cause I don't I don't know. I don't see anybody else on the roster that it just makes sense 
for them to possibly push unless they're going with somebody new and even then it, it doesn't make sense because it's like how are we supposed to believe this new guy is supposed to beat someone that's been destroying everybody i, I don't fucking know i wish randy orton a speedy recovery i hope he's not out for the rest of the year but it's not looking too good y'all so but i appreciate all love and support bro 290k appreciate y'all keeping with me see y'all next one peace